Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all absolutely spot on. And thank you very much for watching this video. Now, I've been shopping. I've been to Iceland. Come and have a look what I bought. So this is new, uh, luxury filled Yorkshire pudding, pigs in blankets, mac and cheese. 430 grams in Iceland, it's new, so I had to get it. And it was three quid, three British pounds. So let's get it open and see what we've bought. So let's get this open. <laughs> oh, there we go. Look at that. Let me get a bit of better light for you. It's stopped raining as well. It's fantastic. Here in Cumbria, there we go. Look at that. It looks filled. It does look filled. Well, it says filled as well, doesn't it? So there we go. Oh, I can't wait to get into this. So let's have a look at this. So let's have a look at the ingredients first. There they are. If you want to pause that, by all means, have a look at them ingredients. There's some allergies there, quite a lot actually. We've got barley, mustard, milk. Uh, we've got uh, wheat, soya, egg. Uh, there's quite a lot in there, look. Uh, and there is nutritional information. I know quite a few people are interested in that. So it's 939 calories. 939 calories. Well, it's going to be, isn't it? Macaroni and cheese, Yorkshire pudding, comfort food. It's, it's comfort food in a one Let's just see if it all goes together. And there's a little bit of um, filled Yorkshire pudding, pigs in blankets, mac and cheese, cooked Yorkshire pudding, filled with cooked macaroni pasta in vintage cheddar cheese sauce. Oh, you know it's going to be good cheddar cheese sauce. Topped with pork sausage wrapped in smoky, streaky bacon with added water, sprinkled with toasted breadcrumbs and red Leicester cheese. Oh my goodness. This is going to be... Amazing. I hope it is anyway. I really do. Right, let's have a look at the cooking instructions. There we are there. For best results, cook from frozen. So you do it in the oven. No microwave in this one. Fan 180, gas 7, 45 to 50 minutes. Oh, this is going to be a treat. There we are. Look at that. Look at that. They're doing a few of these ranges. There's another one I want to get hold of. They don't sell them. Well, they don't sell them. They've not stopped it yet, so I'm going to get into that one. There's quite a few of these out, so the new, and I have to try them because they're new. Oh, so what I'll do, I'll bring you back when it's cooked. So it's done. 45 minutes in the oven, um, middle of the oven, uh, fan 180, and it's looking. It's looking pretty good, I'll be honest. So if you kind of like this um, kind of content, please give the video a thumbs up. Um, and if you've not subscribed, maybe consider subscribing. And keep your comments coming in as well, please. I do try and answer every single comment. Um, yeah, just keep them coming in. I'm going to go live this Friday night, 8 o'clock. And I'm going to get some beers in, so get some beers in. 8 o'clock Friday night, if, you, if you're available, just... You know, tune in. Tune in to the live stream or feed or whatever you call it. And let's just uh let's let our hair let's let our hair down. <laughs> so let's have a look at this anyway. Here we go. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh look at that. <sighs> oh let's get it out. Let's get it out of the case. Let me get a bit of better light for you first. There it is. This is that. Look at that. So I cooked it in the case as it is. Um, so let's get it out. Let's get it out and let's get it open. So let's uh, let's get this out if we can. That ain't breaking. There we go. <laughs> I'll get a I'll get you a better view. Uh, have a look at that. Oh, this is going to be this is going to be taste sensation, isn't it? So I've got a uh, I'm going to be civilized here. I'm going, to, I'm going to cut it in half. Let's get this in half. Oh my, oh goodness me. Oh, look at that. There. Let me get a bit of better light for you there. Look at that. So, I think we should dive in, shouldn't we? 
Let's just dive in. Pigs in blankets. You can't go wrong with pigs in blankets, can you? So Yorkshire pudding and cheese. It's, I mean, you know, when you do Yorkshire pudding on a Sunday roast, you do um, cauliflower cheese, don't you? And they are, and that is lovely, isn't it? Anything with cheese on has got to be good, hasn't it? Have a look at that. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's lovely. It really is lovely. <laughs> it's a bit of a strange combination, isn't it? But wow, it seems to work. Let's have a look. Let's try a bit of this. That cheese, that crumb on top there is beautiful. What a texture that's adding. gorgeous that is absolutely beautiful it's delicious it really is <sighs> that Yorkshire pudding's crisp as hell the edges are all nice and crisp and crunchy mm. Mm. <laughs> oh that is Coming towards pigs in blankets, coming towards Christmas, isn't it? We just had Halloween. Oh, that is beautiful. It really is. The macaroni, the pasta's soft. The cheese is so cheesy. And that crumb on the top is absolutely divine. It is divine. It really is. Mmm. Mmm. Some of the macaroni and cheese there has just gone crisp. And the macaroni itself, beautiful. Pigs in blankets are tasty. There they are. Mmm. What's not to love? What's not to love about that? God, oh, it's, it's absolutely spot on. It really is. If you're on a diet, keep away from this one. This isn't, um, if you're on a calorie control diet, I think you should just have one of these a day and that's it. Go on that OMAD diet. Mmm. Oh, it's beautiful. It really is seasoned well. Don't have to add any salt or pepper to it. I mean, you can if you want, but... Oh, it's... It's three quid. It's a luxury. And it is... It's top mark. Ten out of ten. And I would buy it again. Definitely would buy it again. I can see this selling out fast. I can see this selling out fast. This is lovely. It really is lovely. It's so cheesy. I mean, if you don't like cheese, then forget it. But that is... It's, it's, it's good. It's good. So I'm going to get into this now. I'm going to take the dining room with a cup of tea. I'm going to get into this for my lunch. So take care. All the best. And I'll catch you on the next one.